Hey, right, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toast here and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exvius and today's Wednesday so we got a bunch of news to talk about and when I say a bunch of news it's a bunch of news basically this Friday uh, you guys will be able to farm some uh, gil if you're lacking gil I'm still good a little bit but if you're lacking gil now it's gonna be your chance to farm a little bit more this weekend moving on to the next one Conquer of Isender, this raid event is coming back, so the Wrath of the Dark Dragon, you're going to be able to drop the beat down on him, uh, so you guys will be able to beat him up a little bit more at times uh, for the next two weeks. You're going to get some um, raid coins, and with these raid coins, you're going to be able to maybe get uh, Lightbringer, Grasping Sphere, Staff of uh, Blizzards, Wing Edges, and uh, Salamander's Gauntlet, Crag Splitter. Basically, all these things were there uh, a couple months ago, and now they're all bringing it back. They're just trying to, you know, prolong the time before we get CG Nicole. Uh, so this raid event is coming back. So if you didn't get your hands on all these equipment, you're gonna be able to get them this time. Uh, the good, the the only thing is, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to get them a second time. So if you got them the first time, I don't know if you're gonna be able to get them the second time. Hopefully, we can, like they did with the Bahamut uh, raid event. So if I can get my hands on the second light bringer. I'll take it. And moving on again to the next one, featured summon uh, King's Knight. So if you guys never got your hands on Rayjack, uh, Kaliva, Tobio, and Barusa, well now it's going to be your chance because they are coming back for the next two weeks in the summon pool. So if you guys want them, here's your chance to get them. Other than that, I would say just wait. But if you're a person who really wants those characters, actually Rayjack. If we go right here, really strong TMR, boost attack when equipped with a helm, and boost defense when equipped with a heavy armor, really good. But other than that, if you really want your boy CG Nicole, just wait it out, take your time, do the raid, and have a little bit fun with the rest of the game. Then, we're gonna go right here, and that's something I've been looking for a really, really, really long time. New unit to awaken, and yes, the girl Rosa is finally getting her six star i can't can't wait to see it going uh she's been an amazing five star you guys actually see her a lot in guides and everything she's really really good and now i can't wait to see her six star all good she becomes so after maintenance on thursday you guys will be able to awaken her to her six star and she's uh hopefully she's gonna be really good and she deserves that six star for a really long time I'm gonna keep it there. Actually, I'm just gonna go back here just for fun because we're gonna get a lot of new stuff this month. So, uh, we're gonna get some new allies also. Uh, Edward, which is gonna be a bard, it's gonna be a whole uh, bunch of uh, things actually that I'm gonna talk about real fast. Uh, the new batch of um, allies, if you can say so, the new uh, summer and the banner after the Rayjack one. It's gonna be Edward Young, pure summoner Rydia, where she's a little little girl, and we're gonna get uh, Atoning Dragoon Kane. So Kane and Rydia are coming back into the game, but now they're coming back as a five star going into a six star. So if you guys want them, there's gonna be your chance. They're gonna stay in that pool of units. So if ever you don't get them, they're always gonna be there. So there's always gonna be a chance for you to summon these guys. Personally. Uh, I, I think Kane looks badass. He just looks so cool. Uh, the only thing is it just sucks because Dragoons in this game, they're, they're not that great. And uh, even Roberta with her enhancements, it just takes a long time to build up. And uh, Pure Summoner Radio, uh, she's going to be an Evoker, so she's basically almost like Yuna a little bit. Uh, she's going to have some cool moves. They were talking about her being able to use certain moves twice in one turn, stuff like that. But until they come out, we're just going to keep it this way. Uh, they're going to be, uh, I think, maybe next week they're going to come out. And then the week after, predictions right here, the week after. So not, what are we today? This Friday is going to be the 8th. Uh, they're coming out on the 15th. I'm saying CG Nicole is coming out on the 22nd. Right here, bold prediction on June 22nd, CG Nicole is coming out. That's my own prediction. And that's what I think what's going to happen. So they're just pushing it a little bit out. But we have to be patient. So until then, you're going to be able to farm your tickets and your uh, lapis. Uh, that's going to be for the new banner next week that they were talking about. The abilities uh, awakening, we spoke about it real quick. So Rayjack, Kaliva, Barusa, and Toby will have theirs uh, on Thursday, if I'm not mistaken, after maintenance. Then 
Batch number two in the month of June, Zargabat, Ash, Rassler, and Zhao. So we don't know what their abilities are going to look like, but I can't wait for them because I really like Zargabat and Ash, and I want to try to use Rassler as a tank now. So he's really, really cool. Uh, that's going to be for the ability Awakening. Then, as I breathe in and breathe out, take a shot of espresso. We're going to get a lot of things basically three new bosses on the chamber of arms you guys will be able to fight the gumen or the gumen whatever it's like a casket with a sword in it uh on upon beating him you'll get thor's hammer which is a 145 attack hammer a really strong weapon so i'm not sure if he's coming out after maintenance this week or maybe next week but i think it's maybe going to be next week with all the different events so that's gonna be chamber of arms one more thing to do then on the chamber of the fallen we'll get the iron giant so if you guys play final fantasy he's basically in almost every final fantasy game uh big dude with a giant sword uh upon beating him you'll get the iron colossus which is a piece of armor sorry attack 15 and defense 56 so really strong, especially if you're trying to build a true double end. Uh, that attack 15 is really good. And the defense is really, really high. So that's for the uh, Chamber of the Fallen. Then, last one. Chamber of the Indigen. Indignant. Indignant? Indignant. Whatever. We're going to go right here. Uh, Nemesis. Is it here? No, that's not the one. There you go. This one right here. We're going to get a new event, uh, the Sworn of the Inta, Intan Gear. So we're going to be able to fight Intan Gear one more time. I want to show you guys uh, real fast before everybody laughs at my way of saying it. This guy right here is coming back a little bit harder. So the first time you guys were able to beat him and get the Enhancer. Well, the second time you beat him, you'll get the Enhancer Plus, which is Attack 106, Magic 25, HP 10% and magic 20% so that's a really really good sword for free so upon beating him you get that sword for free which is pretty pretty damn sick and that's all we got for the news so that was a lot of things to talk about uh, really cool to see three new bosses being put inside the game we're gonna get the new raid event um, like I said, the uh, Ray Jack banner is coming back for this week, so that's another good thing. So if you guys want your hands on Ray Jack, there's going to be your chance. Uh, new abilities, a uh, bunch of new stuff. Rosa 6 star, which is finally happening, and that's going to be sick. Guys, that's it for the news. If you know more stuff that I don't, please leave it down in the comment section. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.